Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you this really cool platform a game. Flag click. This is just the last level, just for gameplay purposes. Oops, I hit it. I mind. Whoa! Hey, come on, you can do this. Yep, there we go. Hit the green flag next level, and since the last level, we win. So, yeah, that was just a quick rundown. So in this game, I've just quickly made a small cube in bitmap. Um, but yeah. Just for video purposes. Now upload my sprite. I've got a bunch of sprites that I need. So this flag sprite, this is gonna be a level one. So I just gotta change that. Another one, I gotta get the spikes. Again, the same code is there, just that I gotta change this to level one. Um yeah. So I'm just going to be quickly going through it. These levels are the maps in which you play. I've just not filled them, otherwise it won't work. So yeah, just made a bunch of different levels, so nothing too big. The spikes are correlated. So for level one, uh, the first costume of this level, first costume is correlated. So the second spikes is related to the second costume. See how it fits? Yep, that's how it works. So I mean, yeah, now all of them, the code is the same. So you can quickly see when flag click go to x zero zero set level to one forever switch costume to level that's pretty simple for all three of these it's the same now for this one there's a lot of code involved in this but yeah it's going to quickly make it so now i needed to make a bunch of variables level is already there because we made it for the three different sprites i need a variable lock xv and yb you can replace the V with um, speed if you feel like it because that explains it easier. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So first of all, I want a forever loop. Gonna take an if loop, another if loop. And from, if you've seen my first video, um, yeah, I really recommend seeing that. I've gotta take a keys, right arrow pressed, duplicate it here. Um, just key left arrow pressed. I'm gonna, change duplicate change i don't want to change level i want to change xv and xv by one and minus one based on the right and left arrow key i mean so that's pretty simple right yeah there we go so now i want to quickly get out this and i want to go for change x by I don't want to change it by 10. I want to change it by X, V. So I don't know how this clicked on. Never mind. Now I want an if then else. This is another one. We're going to be using this one. So we want to check if we're touching the platform. Right? So in this case, the platform is levels. If touching levels, then I want to reverse this. So since I want to reverse it, I want to change x by i'm gonna go to the operators get a multiplier xv times minus one this basically makes it so that it travels in the opposite direction of what it was currently traveling um if i can yeah there we go and now i want to set xv to zero this is to make sure that it doesn't constantly bang and bounce off the wall too many times if you spam right click on a wall that is um but yeah else we're gonna set again set xv2 um this again i want a multiplier just going to duplicate this but this time i want to make it a point a decimal under one so let's go for point eight so now if you want to test this um wherever this thing is um okay, that's a little weird okay let's just let's just try this not for i don't want that in the forever let's just go for minus 220 and zero this is why we're gonna start it things off right so if i try it, it stops pretty well smooth actions so now i'm gonna go ahead and go for the y this is all for the left and right code i want to go for the up and down up and down code Right, so I want to quickly go ahead and take a change y by. This time we're going to go to yv. Right, 
now I want to go for an if else again again the same criteria if touching levels but this one's going to be a little different right so I want to again this part of the code is pretty much similar I want to again remove this part it's going to duplicate this change yv by just going to quickly duplicate this I want to make this really quick yv times minus one and again I want to set yv to zero right let's go set yv to zero this is cool now I'm gonna go for another if and another if inside that if so right now these two ifs are you know gonna control whether or not we can use it so I want to take the lock and go to operators if lock equals zero it's gonna quickly finish this lock equals zero then if key let's just keep it as up arrow pressed so if lock is zero if key up arrow pressed I wanna set xv sorry yv to 15 and I wanna set lock to 1 If that's not happening, then I want to do something else. I want to make sure that it goes down. So to make it fall down. And before that, I want to set lock to zero if it's not jumping. So I want to go ahead and do this. I'm going to set um, change YV yeah, by minus one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna do some quick stuff and then my game will be done. Um, and if touching, if touching flag go to minus 220, zero. Now I just wanna quickly duplicate this, but this time, um, if touching spikes. Now here I just want to add a quick change level by one and yeah, that's pretty much it. This is totally done and yeah, sorry for the phone noise, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and yeah. Bye.